हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी ओवरव्यू ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट बाइनोमल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वी विल आल्सो सी हाउ टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट सो लेट अस फर्स्ट सी व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट वी सी इंट्रोडक्शन टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बाइनोमल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन then we will talk about definition of binomial distribution and finally we will see some examples so let us proceed with the introduction of concept of binomial distribution binomial distribution is used to obtain the probability of happening of an event exactly once twice thrice or r times when an experiment is repeated n times or performed n times these end times are also called as end trials let a random experiment be performed repeatedly or say end times we call the occurrence of an event in a trial as success and its non occurrence as failure that means if the event occurred we call it as success if it does not occur we call it as failure let the probability of happening an event in one trial be p that is probability of success is p then we say q is equal to 1 minus p as the probability of failure in one trial then x successes in n trials can occur in n c x ways therefore probability of each of these ways is p raised to x into q raised to n minus x since out of n trials success is occurring x times its probability is p raised to x therefore failure is going to occur n minus x times therefore its probability is q raised to n minus x hence the probability of x successes in n trials will be given by n c x into p raised to x into q raised to n minus x this is binomial distribution now let us see formal definition of binomial distribution a random variable x is said to follow binomial distribution if it assumes non negative values and its probability mass function pmf is given by ncx into p raised to x into q raised to n minus x when x takes value 0 1 2 3 and so on and it is equal to 0 in other cases this is called as pmf of the binomial distribution now let us see examples based on this in this first example we are given that eight coins are tossed simultaneously and we are asked to find the probability of getting at least six heads let us see the solution part here eight coins are tossed simultaneously so the number of trials n is 8 let p denotes the probability of getting success here getting success means getting head and we know that probability of getting a head in one trial is half so p is half and therefore probability of failure that is q which is 1 minus p is equal to half again 1 minus p means 1 minus half which is half so q is also half if the random variable x denotes the number of heads then the probability of a success or getting head in n trials is given by p of x is equal to x is equal to ncx p raised to x into q raised to n minus x because x is following binomial distribution here p is half q is half n is 8 so p of x is equal to x becomes 8cx half raised to x into half raised to 8 minus x since these two bases are same we have to add their powers so what is x plus 8 minus x it is just 8 so we left with 8cx into half raised to 8 this is formula for p of x equal to x now we find the probability of getting at least 6 heads probability of getting at least 6 heads means p of x greater than or is equal to 6 which is same as p of x equal to 
plus p of x is equal to 7 plus p of x equal to 8. Why we stop at 8? Because there are at most 8 heads in 8 coins. So let us calculate p of x equal to 6. Simply substitute x equal to 6 in this formula. It will be 8c6 half raised to 8. Similarly, p of x equal to 7 will be 8c7 half raised to 8 and p of x equal to 8 will be 8c8 half raised to 8. When we calculate this using calculator, we get p of x greater than or equal to 6 as 37 upon 256. So this is the probability of getting at least 6 heads when 8 coins are tossed simultaneously. I hope you understood this example. Now let us proceed for next one. In this example, we are given that the probability that a man aged 60 will live to be 70 is 0.65. Then we are asked, what is the probability that out of 10 such men, now at 60, at least 7 will live to be 70? Let us look at the solution part. We are given that there are 10 men in consideration to find the probability. Therefore, number of trials that is n is 10 here. Given that a man aged 60 will live to be 70, its probability is 0.65. So, if we consider p denotes the probability that a man aged 60 will live to be 70, then p is 0.65. So this is the probability of success. Therefore, probability of failure Q given by 1 minus P will be 1 minus 0 0.65 that is 0 0.35. So Q is 0 0.35. Now we denote X a random variable denoting the number of men now at 60 live to be 70. Then P of X equal to X is given by NCX into p raised to x into q raised to n minus x because this x follows binomial distribution. Here p is 0 0.65, q is 0 0.35, n is 10. So p of x now becomes 10cx into 0.65 raised to x into 0.35 raised to 10 minus x. Now let us see the probability that out of 10 men now at 60, at least 7 will live to be 70. It is denoted by P of X greater than or is equal to 7. It is equal to P of X equal to 7 plus P of X equal to 8 plus P of X equal to 9 plus P of X equal to 10. Now, let us write what is P of X equal to 7 in this. For that, you simply substitute X equal to 7 in this probability distribution formula. So it will be 10 C7 0.65 raised to 7 into 0.35 raised to 10 minus 7. P of x equal to 8 will be 10 C8 into 0.65 raised to 8 into 0.35 raised to 10 minus 8. Similarly, P of x equal to 9 will be 10 C9 0.65 raised to 9 into 0.35 raised to 10 minus 9. Finally, P of x equal to 10 will be 10c10, 10 10, 0.65 raised to 10 into 0.35 raised to 10 minus 10. When we use calculator to calculate this, we see p of x greater than or equal to 7 is 0.5137. So this is the probability that at least 7 men out of 10 that are at 60 now will live to be 70. I hope guys you understood this example. Now it is your turn to solve some examples. Below are some practice examples. Their final solutions are already written over here. Guys, please write me in comment box whether you were able to solve these examples or not. Please also write me how much useful is this video for you. In my next video, we will see concept overview and examples on Poisson distribution. Till then, keep practicing these examples. Keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.